Hi ladies, happy Friday the 5th of March. Sophie from SV Sports Therapy here, based at your Gunpowder Park gym. Would love to go through the shoulder series this month of March. I'd like to take you through some exercises this afternoon that will help with the tightness that we all get around the back of our shoulder blades, top of shoulders, and the muscles connecting the neck to the shoulder. So these exercises as well, you don't even have to get up from your computer desk um, to do them, but I would definitely advise uh, keeping that regular routine of getting up on regular interview intervals throughout the day if you are a desk worker. So the first exercise, there are some lovely muscles that attach the side of your neck to the top of your shoulder, okay, called the trapezius group. There's some other muscles underneath that, that muscle group too. So to stretch those out, you would bring one ear to one shoulder and then relax and stretch out the arm opposite. So opposite stretch from shoulder to ear and really push the arm down as you're going through that stretch. And then you can bring it back to the center. So ear to other shoulder, straighten the arm. And I often have my palm up to the ceiling when I do that stretch. You can try with the palm down and you can try with the palm up and find out what one feels more beneficial to you, okay? Caution not to lean over like a teapot when you're doing this exercise. So the torso keeping nice and straight and it's just opposite ear to that shoulder and then stretch the arm out. Super. And then have a few, side, a few repetitions on that side and then go over to the other side. If, for example, you always get tightness on one side more than the other, stretch out the, the less symptomatic side first and then go over to the other side that's causing you grief. The next exercise, the muscles at the back of your neck coming down to the shoulder blade and behind into top part of shoulder here. So using your hands, using one hand, bringing chin to chest and then just gently bring chest uh, chin down to chest a little bit more and exhale on that stretch hold it for a few counts and then bring yourself back to the center again caution not to create that c-spine c-shaped curve in your back when you're going to this stretch keep the torso nice and straight and just bring chin to chest use a little bit of over pressure with the hand it's a really, really lovely stretch, nice and slow, just in case the nerves in the neck and the, and the back uh, start to pull a little bit too much. So don't be too aggressive on this stretch, okay? Another stretch, number three, the muscles in between your shoulder blades called the rhomboid muscles. Bring in chin to chest, clasp the hands and really bring the shoulder blades around the spine coming out to the side so clasping i always think about hugging a big teddy bear you're clasping the teddy bear and then creating that stretch pulling the shoulder blades apart and then bringing chin to chest at the same time this one you can round the back get a really nice stretch i can even feel that in my lower back when i'm stretching and bringing chin to chest so for us deskbound workers, when we're getting tightness in our uh, shoulder blades, shoulders and neck, think about stretch number one, palm up to the ceiling, try that, palm down to the floor, try that, opposite ear to shoulder and stretch or open up the space between ear and shoulder. A few repetitions on one side and then go to the other. Stretch number two for the muscles at the back of the neck coming down to the shoulder blade and top part of shoulder. Nice straight torso, bringing chin to chest and then a little bit of over pressure with one hand. Really using your exhale breath to relax into that stretch and not being too aggressive in the neck pulling. Number three, stretching the rhomboids which are the muscles in between the shoulder blades. Bringing chin to chest, clasping that big teddy bear and then creating that C-shaped curve in the back and hugging that teddy bear and really pulling the shoulder blades apart. So that's three stretches to help you 
Relieve the tightness in your neck and your shoulders. Join me next Friday for some more top tips on shoulder exercises. In the meantime, we're here to support you. Reach out to us via social media. Pick up the phone, we'd love to support you. Have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Bye for now.